I'm just going to start by sharing my screen with you. And we're going to look at this hand here, which was uh, one I sent out in email at the weekend. And uh, it was a hand that when it was played, very few people made four spades on this hand. So you open one spade and let's suppose your partner takes you to four spades. The opponents lead the king of hearts. And I'd like to start off by counting how many possible losers you may have here. So barring any incredible distribution, just how many likely losers uh, might you have? So count up each suit one at a time. And in a moment, I'm going to launch a poll and you'll have a chance to say how many likely losers or possible losers you have. Poll. The end of the poll, and I'll just share the results with you. And I'm pleased to say that nearly all of you have said four. Uh, one person said five. And yes, I agree with you. You have four potential losers here. Um, one spade, two hearts, no diamonds, and one club. Um, you may look at the club suit and think you may not lose any there, and that's perfectly true. When the time comes, you'll try the club finesse. But on this hand, if the club finesse fails, you will end up with four losers and you'll go down. And that's what happened to most people on this hand. Um, once you've realized that you've got four losers, you have to realize, think about, is there any way of avoiding them? And what you can do on this hand is make use of the diamond suit. You've got the king and then the ace and queen. And what you can do on this hand is play three rounds of diamonds, and that will allow you to discard a loser from the north hand. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to win that first trick. And this time we don't want to draw trumps right away because if we draw trumps, the opponents will get in with their ace and we'll be able to cash two hearts. So we need to delay drawing trumps. We need to take the slight risk that one of these diamonds gets roughed. Um, but it is a very small risk because we've only got five diamonds. The opponents have got all the other diamonds. So very unlikely we'll be able, uh, they'll wrap anything. And we'll just start by winning in the shorthand with the king of diamonds, playing the queen and the ace. And of course, we'll discard a heart from dummy on that. And now we're only going to lose one heart uh, loser. So now we can turn our attention to trumps. The opponents will get in and they can cash one heart trick but they can't cash any more. Whatever they play now will regain the lead, will draw the remaining trump, and at some point we can try the club finesse, uh, and on this layout it fails, but we've made our contract. After this, we've got uh, all good clubs, and we'll make uh, 10 tricks on that one. So I, I think the key to this is making a plan, realizing you've got four losers, and realizing that the best way to get rid of one of those losers is by playing the diamonds early. So we delay drawing trumps until we've discarded a heart, okay? I hope you can see that if you don't do that, as soon as the opponents get in with their ace of spades, they'll take their two hearts, and now the contract depends on the club finesse working. Do interrupt me if you have any questions on this one. Let's try another one. This time it's gone one spade, three spades, four spades, and the opponents start off with the ace of hearts. And again, I'd like you to count how many potential losers you have here. So you won't be surprised to learn this is something I recommend you do every time you're playing in a suit contract. Count how many potential losers you have. And there's another poll coming out on that now. For the first time for a long time, we've got a unanimous result. 100% of you have said there are four losers there. And I agree. You have uh, no likely spade losers. 
but you have two heart losers, one diamond loser, and one club loser. So either these questions are getting easier or you're getting better at them. But yes, you have four losers here. Now, we need to think about what we're going to do to eliminate one of those losers. And obviously what we have here is the club suit. The clubs will provide um, a number of tricks on which we can discard a loser. But let's see what happens. I suppose they start off with the ace of hearts and the king of hearts, and then they switch to a diamond. Well, let's win that one. And now we need to think ahead about whether we can draw trumps here or whether we need to try and set up the clubs first. And if you think ahead here, I think we can draw trumps um, because we've got all the high trumps. We won't lose uh, the lead there. And we still have the king of diamonds. So after we've drawn trumps, we're going to play the clubs and that will set up a trick for us to discard a diamond. And because we still have um, the king of diamonds as a stopper, we can afford to draw trumps first. So if you can draw trumps first, you definitely should. So that's what we're going to do here. We'll play one round there. Second round where East discarded. So that's um, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. There's one more trump out. Let's draw it. And now we turn our attention to clubs. And if they don't take their ace, we'll just keep playing clubs until they do. But whatever happens here, if they play a diamond, we'll win that one with the uh, king. And now we've set up the clubs. We can discard a diamond on the last club. And we'll make our contract there. We'll make 10 tricks on that one. So by all means, if you can draw trumps first before you um, hear, before we start discarding losers on the clubs, then by all means do so. If you tried on this hand to delay drawing trumps, then you could be in trouble. So this is the same hand, but let's see what happens if when after they play a diamond, you win the ace. If you start trying to set up the clubs now, you are in danger of um, being rough. So if East takes the ace and plays another club at this stage, before you've drawn trumps, they will defeat you. They will take a fourth trick there. So that this is not a time to delay drawing trumps. This is a time just to draw trumps and then set up a, a, a club trick. OK, do Trump, if you have any comments or questions on this, let's try another one and see if we can work out a way to play this one. So we went one heart, two clubs, two diamonds, three hearts, four hearts, and the opponents have led a club. So let's have a look at this. If I look at this in from the south hand point of view, I can see, well, I've got ace, king, queen of spades. In hearts, I've got all the high hearts except for the queen. Um, I've only got one club, so I don't need to lose any clubs. I've just got these diamonds, which I would be thinking maybe I can rough um, some of those. This hand, though, is also really quite suitable for cross roughing, for never drawing trumps, because we've got clubs that we want to rough in the south hand and diamonds that we want to rough in the north hand. And when you have something like this with very few outside tricks, apart from the club, the ace of clubs and the ace of diamonds, my only other top tricks outside of the trump suit are the three spades. So this kind of hand, it works, tends to work out much better by cross roughing, which most people take to very readily. And rather than than trying to draw trumps because if you draw if you draw trumps you'll find it very difficult to um, rough all those diamonds. In fact, we can make the most of those spades because when we play three rounds of spades, we'll be able to discard a diamond from the north hand. So that is our line on this one. We're going to not touch, not draw trumps at all on this one, um, and because we're going to start off. We are going to cross rough. I'm going to start by roughing a club. You don't have to do this. You can play it another way, but this is quite convenient. So we can rough a club. And 
before we we start trying to rough diamonds we're going to cash our three spades the king and then the ace and the queen and we can discard a diamond on that so now we're ready to uh rough diamonds without losing any tricks here so we'll we'll rough a diamond okay and at this stage we're roughing with um after the the five of hearts has gone we've just got high trumps apart from the queen so we're we're not going to draw it we're just going to uh, continue to cross rough we'll rough the club which we rough there another diamond which we rough with a nine another club which we're roughing high the 10 is high except for the queen and we can try and rough our last um diamond which we rough with the king now we play a club and we may as well try and rough with the jack and if that wins we can actually on this layout we can actually make all 13 uh tricks so we were a little fortunate with the way with the way the queen of hearts was but basically we we avoided all our losers by roughing all the diamonds in dummy and we cross rough to get back to a hand so that we could keep roughing so that's an example of a hand where you don't really want to draw trumps at all just cross rough uh, right to the end and uh, let's try another one let's have a look at this one where it's gone one spade two clubs two diamonds three clubs three hearts and north bids four spades north there is right to go back to spades rather than support hearts because when your partner bids spades followed by hearts they should be showing at least five uh spades and at least four hearts which as you can see is what they've got so let's have a look at this one and once again I'm going to ask send, ask you the same poll question how many likely losers do you think declarer has here going to launch that uh, poll assuming things divide reasonably favorably for you how many likely losers do you think declarer has here okay let's uh, end that and most of you have gone for two 83 percent with 17 yeah. percent saying three so let's have a little think about that well in spades we hope we don't lose any spades here we've got eight trump the opponents have got five and on the most likely distribution of three two we won't lose any spades there so in hearts we also don't have we don't have any losers there diamonds we're missing the a so I hope we'll just lose one trick there and we've got one club to lose so yeah I hopefully will make 11 tricks on this hand just losing one diamond and one club so let's see if we can do that the opponents lead a club and suppose they play another club which we rough and what we're going to do here is Think about whether we want to draw trumps first and I think we do we want to draw trumps here and we hope that they fall in three rounds and then we'll be able to uh, play our other suits so let's suppose we start off by drawing trumps we play the ace we play the king and everyone follows so that's good news that means we can draw the last trump with our queen and now we're going to go about taking our other tricks we need to lose the lead here to the ace of diamonds so let's play diamond and we'll keep playing diamonds until they take their um, ace and whatever happens now for example if they play another club we can rough with our last trump and now the rest of our hand is good we'll take our good diamonds and our good hearts and as predicted well, as hope as we hoped we'll make 11 tricks on that one so this time there was no need to um uh, do anything other than draw trumps and that was the safest thing to do here now 
just imagine we're going to play the same hand again, but this time things are not going quite so well. So this is exactly the same hand from north-south point of view, but let's see what happens with a different distribution of the east-west cards. They take their first club and they play another club, which we rough. And remember, we started off by drawing trumps here. So we play the ace and then we play the king and we get an unpleasant news that West has discarded. So what does that mean? It means the trumps were not divided 3-2. They were divided 4-1. And that means that East has two trumps left, the jack and the 10, and they're going to make a trick. We can't... Um, prevent that from making a trick. Now, the other thing we need to think about here is the diamond suit, because we're going to lose the lead in trumps. We need to set up that diamond suit now before we draw any more trumps. In fact, if I bring up the four hands and click on the GIB link, it is will tell you that to make this contract, you now need to leave trumps alone. In fact, if you lead a trump, you will can be defeated by two or three tricks if you try to draw this. Because what will happen if we try and draw this, then when the opponents get in with their ace of diamonds, um, they will be able to play another club and we won't be able to uh, to rough it uh, in the north hand. We'll, we'll, we'll will sort of lose control of Trump here. So when you have a situation like this, um, it's often desirable to establish a side suit while you still have Trump control. And that's what you need to do here. Um, probably the best thing to do is to play the diamonds and try and force out the ace. And that now if the opponents go back to clubs, we still have a trump in the north hand. So we don't need to rough in the south hand. We can use that for drawing the opponent's trumps and we can rough in the north hand. Now we're in uh, quite good shape, although we're still going to lose a trump, another trump here. But what we're going to do is try to get back to our hand. I suppose we get back with a diamond there. And what you want to do now is draw one round of trump, but leave the last high trump out. Remember that very good principle, if there's one high trump out, very often leave it out and now go about your other, other business. So we'll now go back to cashing our tricks, we'll try to cash our hearts and our diamonds. At some point, East is going to rough with their last high trump, but we still have a trump left. We still have control of trump. And so if they play a club, for example, we can rough with our last trump and take our last diamond. So we can make 10 tricks there, um, even though we lose a spade, but you have to be careful because of the bad break. Uh, you mustn't try to draw all those trump before you've established your side suit. Any comments or questions on that? That one's quite a tricky one, but um, I, I think- Can I ask a question, Tony? Yes, please do. Um, on that hand, do we actually have to draw either the jack or the 10 of um, spades? Could we just carry on playing our diamonds or hearts and let them rough? Well, we don't, they... want, we don't want them to win two two trump tricks, do we? No, no, I understand that. But if, if, if you play your hearts or your diamonds and they rough, yeah. when, you get, when you get back in, can you not then draw the last trump? Yeah. So you could do it that way too. That that I think will be equally effective. Yeah. So um, let's see. At, at, at a point like this, we can we can play our side suits, let them rough, um, uh, and then well, the, as long as long as we can as long as we can get back in. So I think at this point you you can you can do it uh, do it different ways, but. Yeah, you, essentially, you you're going to let them win one trick, and you want to draw draw the other high trump. But you can do it, I think, in a different order. Yeah. So if I play another, if I keep, if I play my suit now, and they rough, then as long as I can get um, back in, um, then 
I, I, let me see. I don't know if, if we just um, we just try try that. Suppose we we play the heart. This is kind of what you're suggesting, maybe, is it? Yes. Yeah. Because at some stage we'll be able to rough, I assume, with the six of spades, and then draw the queen of, then play the queen to. Um... Yeah, I think it. So at this stage here, if they rough. Yeah. Uh, and suppose they play a club. Yeah. Uh, we can we can rough, and then we still have the queen of spades. So yes, it works either way. I think. Yeah. Okay. Um, one other hand I want to look at, and this was one that was played last year um and this was board five and you can see a lot of people played this in five or six spades um and according to the computer it can make 12 tricks although a lot of people didn't make 12 tricks some made only 11 and i'd like to have a look at this one and see if we can figure out a way to make 12 tricks on this one and this is a hand here where you open two clubs, two diamonds, two spades, let's say three spades, four no trump. Your partner shows no aces, but let's suppose you bid six spades anyway. You have such a nice hand. And let's try and make a plan on this hand. The opponents here lead the queen of diamonds. And I'd like you to stop and have a little think about this. We're going to win the first trick with the ace of diamonds. And after that, I've got the final poll of the evening coming up, which is you're going to win this first trick with the ace of diamonds. And what suit should you play next? So have a little think, try and make a plan of how you're going to uh, make this contract. I can see I've got, I've got, I'm going to lose the ace of spades and I've got a diamond loser. So I've got two possible losers there. So have a little think. We're going to play the ace of diamonds here. And the poll question that's coming up is what suit are you going to play after you've won the ace of diamonds? OK, let me uh, share the results with you. And this time, most of you have gone for clubs with a fair number going for spades and two people going for hearts. So let's have a look at this. Well, this is not easy, is it? Because we've got um, a diamond we need to avoid losing. And that means we can't really start by drawing trumps here. If we win this first trick, and start drawing trumps the opponents will get in with their ace and we'll be able to cash a diamond so we'll be down immediately how are we going to get rid of that diamond loser well i think there are two possibilities and the better one is the clubs that is to say we've got the ace king and then the queen of clubs and on that queen of clubs, we can discard our losing diamond. So we can't afford to draw trumps on this one uh, because we'll lose the diamond almost certainly. We need to delay drawing trumps until we've established a club trick. So that's what we're going to do. We'll start off with the club. I agree with those of you who said lead clubs. Play the king. We're just hoping that doesn't get roughed, of course. And now the second part of this conundrum, if you like, is how to get to dummy so that we can cash that queen of clubs. And there's only one good way, which is the hearts. We're going to leave the jack of hearts overtaking with the queen. And now, fingers crossed, we can play the queen of clubs and discard that diamond. And once we've done that, now we can draw trumps. The opponents will get in. Whatever they try and play, we can rough and uh, we'll make the rest of the tricks. We'll claim our 12 tricks. So on that one, when it was uh, played, only one person made 12 tricks. And that was when from against someone so north who led a heart. So I don't like the lead of a heart there when you have a much more attractive lead of a top of a sequence. Um, but uh, the heart lead allows 
gives declare a time to draw trumps, whereas the diamond lead um, attacks your weakness there. So that was, that's a slightly tricky one, but really the only good chance there is to uh, play the clubs first and then use your heart as an entry. Some people suggested playing hearts first, but they're far too likely to get roughed if you, for example, were trying to play the ace, king, cross over to the queen and then play another heart. That's almost certain to get roughed. And uh, so you wouldn't have a chance to, to discard on it. OK, mm -hmm. so those are all examples of um, more situations of whether to draw trumps, whether to delay drawing trumps. And uh, I think the key to it is, is making a plan, counting your losers, trying to determine if you have any you want to discard. And sometimes you need to discard those before you've drawn trumps. We'll end the talk there. And uh, does anyone have any questions they want to ask? We'll, um, we'll end the talk there. I can see you all online. If any of you need a partner, you can either go to the table or you can speak up now and see if there's anyone else here who needs a partner. Yes, I need a partner, Tony. That's Father. Yeah. Anyone else who needs a partner? I, uh, I do, Tony. That's Dennis. Dennis. Hello, Dennis. Hello. You're, you don't, haven't played that much on here, have you? No, 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 no. <laughs> good, good. All right. Anyone else? I also need a partner, Tony. All right. I can, I can play with Dennis, yeah. All right. As long as he doesn't mind, because we played before. Right. Okay. And uh, yeah, so you need a partner too. And anyone else? Okay, I'll I'll fill in if there's anyone else who needs a partner. So if you uh, if you need a partner, go to the uh, go to the table and. Um, I will see who's who's there. Sometimes there are some people who join without playing. So do go ahead and uh, and join at um, uh, Bertha, isn't it? You need to. Yes. Play. Yeah. Yeah. I will be happy to play with you if you are. All free. right. We'll, we'll see. I'll, I'll certainly play with you if uh, unless there's another person as well. Okay. All right. I'll see you all I'll later. See you later. Bye bye see then. You. Bye. 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 Thank you.